Hello, my name's Andy Neely. I'm the founding director of the Cambridge Service Alliance, and I'm here today at the Muller Centre at the Cambridge Service Alliance annual conference, where we're looking at the way that digital technologies are transforming service and manufacturing businesses. We've got a great lineup of speakers, a fantastic audience, and I'm really hoping that through the course of the day, people will both learn from one another, as well as from some of the great research insights the Service Alliance has produced in the last 12 months. My name's Graham Budd and I've just been speaking at the Cambridge Service Alliance Industry Day. And what I was talking about is how companies and entire industries have already been transformed by using data to create insight which has helped to drive new applications, services and business models. But we're really only at the start of this digital transformation. We are going to see uh, a further transformation through what we call the fifth wave of computing. And this is where three emergent technologies are gonna to come together to enable uh, further transformation of business through digital. And those three areas are the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence and machine learning, and 5G connectivity. And <clears throat> Together, these three areas are going to enable uh, businesses to take data from the physical world and the digital world and to create new business models, new applications, new services, many of which people haven't even thought of yet, um, that will revolutionize and transform the way that we do business. Uh, my name is Sheldon and I've just been talking about um, Singapore Airlines' journey in transforming ourselves digitally and um, adapting to the new expectations of customer experience. So what, what we, we've learned um, is that um, in our journey there were four main areas that we had to focus on. Uh, the first was really to um, develop a culture, to understand what digital has to offer and to deliver that um, to all of our people. We then had to focus on delivering the right capabilities so that we could transform the actual experience that customers had with us. Uh, we then looked at making sure the technical infrastructure that we had was sound and was scalable to allow us to expand for the future. And finally, and I, I think quite importantly, we, we accepted and we acknowledged that we needed to learn from others. So we plugged into a network of partners and you know, digital incubation. We had our own uh, incubator, for example, an accelerator, to really learn from people about what technology has to offer and, and how to grow that. And so that's been kind of a journey so far, staying true to what we are as a customer service airline. My name is Ashish Kumar Gupta. I head up the uh, business for HCL Technologies in uh, EMEA. Uh, now, the conversation which I just had, uh, the presentation was very simple. It was really about how do you get digital transformation and uh, what are we seeing in terms of its adoption and best practices in our client environments. Almost everybody is struggling with digital transformation. It's actually at a very early stage of its life cycle. It's not at a very mature stage of its life cycle. Uh, the transformation could be roughly broken down into three broad pillars. The first and foremost is just transforming the technology foundation, right? The second area is, and maybe the most important is, reimagine the process given the new technology capabilities. And that releases massive capabilities for you to engage with your existing customers in ways which are, you know, 10 times more powerful than what you were able to do previously. And maybe the last and the most important which I'm seeing in a few of my customers is reimagine your business model using technology and digital transformation. And there we talked about three case studies around Manchester United and how they've reimagined their business to be real-time connected to 650 million fans, globally using a digital platform, or a com company which is using its cost space and saying, can I disintermediate cost to using technology and get into that business itself, or using a core competency to sort of create or spawn new digital businesses. I'm Alex Bazin, Managing Director of Fleck, a DHL venture. Today I was talking about digital platforms and the opportunity those create to build new businesses and new business models uh, for large companies. So using the example of Fleck, we've been building a digital platform to match agency labour uh, to create uh, 
greater value for a new generation of uh, lifestyle workers. That's enabled our clients to better utilise their agency labour, but it's also really importantly allowed our, our agency workers to get more work uh, and to, to feel more valued in, in those jobs. Um, so I was talking today really about how do you use software to transform businesses large and small and, and relating that through, through an example that, that we've built. We had a fantastic day today. We've been hearing really good stories from different spectrum of industry, from IoT, um, the application of digital technologies, um, and like blockchains and you know AI and how we can transform society. Um, and that was really great. And uh, we can see all these organizations try to employ this emerging new technology to enable seamless experience for their customers, but also to go beyond productivity and focus about the new business model. So how we can generate revenue stream out of this. I think the interesting part was actually how we can organization formulate a digital transformation strategy to make these capabilities be part of the business, not only to redesign the process per se, but become like a future business model for these organizations.